Portland, Oregon. Next stop on the Act Your Age World Tour. Portland always reminds me of Los Angeles. Good food, good weed, bad traffic, and lots of homeless people. Portland loves to be entertained though, and even during a riot or building fire, they'll come out in droves to see stand-up comedy. Portland is funny, and it is weird. It's always welcoming and non-forgiving. Russell was booked to headline the Helium Comedy Club, a well-run franchise of comedy clubs with a funny and hard-working staff. But first, I have to get a haircut. Hi. You guys do a walk again? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Come on in. How do you feel? Man? Oh, I feel amazing. You do fantastic work, Ashley. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's Portland, Oregon. We got shows tonight. We're getting lined up. I gotta go get a couple shirts for the shows. Also gonna stop and get some cigars for Russell as a thank you for having us on his show. So wanna show his appreciation. So we're gonna check that cigar shop out right now. Let's get it. When you're looking at the camera, look right into that barrel. Okay, gotcha, okay. You know what I mean? Don't look at the screen too much, you okay. know what I mean? There's a goddamn plane going over. All right, now I'm gonna get some shirts. This is DXL, where fat people have to go to shop. <laughs> Let's go. Things. Oof. <laughs> so yeah, 60. I like $60 shirts. These are expensive shirts because it's for fat people and you gotta use a lot of material to, <laughs> to clothe us. Those are like bed sheets. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Cambodian tent. Like they went to Cambodia wow. and kicked over somebody's tent. Mm -hmm. They made a shirt out of it and they charge you 150 bucks for it. I see. All right, gonna try these on and be right, right back. John, are you a John? <laughs> I think this is we're what gonna we're doing. go with these two right here. They make me look really sexy. I was almost gonna with the thong under it. Yeah, so I'm gonna work. touch myself in there, but here we go. There's like cameras and there's stuff. in. Oh, thanks. Drake Nelson. That's me. There you are. All righty. I found the skinniest guy to work at the right. right. <laughs> Good training. Right. So we got some shirts. So now let's go to that cigar store and get some stogies for Russell. Let's go. And that's a fat guy getting out of a car. This is Rich's Cigars. It's uh, got some pretty good reviews on Yelp for cigars and stuff, so we're gonna go in there. I don't know much about cigars, so hopefully they can help me pick out some good ones. All right, let's go. Hi, how are you? Oh, it smells amazing in here. Very well. All right, all right. How goes it? My camera guy. Hey, you always need a camera guy. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind, no. Awesome. Hey, I was uh, hoping I'd get your opinion. Uh, I want to get some cigars for a friend of mine. He's like a cigar aficionado. He okay. really knows his stuff. Well, you're in luck as the expert is Aaron. Mm -hmm. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Yeah. Very well. Oh, royal release. Well, that sounds really good. Very nice. What are these run? Those are $100 a piece. $100 wow. a piece. I'm thinking about half that price. I'm not going to spend it if that's possible. So these are 43 a piece. 
Forty-three. Okay. And we put them in yesterday. Oh, very nice. Cool. Yeah. Let's do one of these. Okay. All right, we're hungry. We're gonna go get some tacos. I'm thinking the hard tacos. Maya's Taqueria here in Portland. It's amazing. The best nachos I've ever had in my life. Make sure you come and you check it out. You'll check thank out. me later. I feel we're at a point where we just need to get back to treating everybody with respect. You know what I mean? Because um, I hadn't seen some of my friends for a year. And I got back up to LA and the first question they asked me, Kevin, what's going on? Hey, did you get your shot? <laughs> hey, Kevin, did you get your shot? You vaccinated, Kevin? You vaccinated? Did you get your shot? I'm like, I haven't seen you for a year. That's your first question? Are you vaccinated? I'm like, are you fucking circumcised? You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing here? You know? How's your prostate? How's the ovaries doing, Stephanie? You know? <laughs> We're sitting here while Kevin Millard's on stage bombing, and we're <laughs> dissecting Tana's set, speaking of bombing, and yeah. uh, and we're trying to figure out how to get everybody out of this business. And I just say, keep on going up and bombing, and uh, the business will weed you out. It'll happen soon enough. Kevin, how'd your set go? They were fun. Helium, Portland, I love you. I love you. There was... Yeah, we won't get into it. Everybody rioted and then just bought tickets. I just <laughs> went to the riots last night and said, why don't you guys just purchase tickets to the show? And then they burnt down a fence and came over. Delicious. We discovered a bunch of food trucks out here in Portland. They're gonna get some shawarma, chicken, and some fries, cause America. We're here with Kevin Millard. Hey. How, what'd you get? Yeah, a little breakfast burrito. Ooh, let's have a look at it. Did you try it yet? Yeah. No, I haven't tried it yet. Bentley, what did you get? Just a regular burrito? No, breakfast burrito. Oh, breakfast burrito. Yeah, bacon burrito. I got pico de gallo. I think they put mushrooms in there. Um, it's a whole bunch of shit. It's, um, it's kind of crazy. You loaded it up, huh? Yeah, loaded, loaded that thing up. That's a big burrito for real. Do you recommend it? I recommend it. You gotta have it. How is it? The yumminess in your mouth. <laughs> Ten on. Oh yeah, it's looking good. When Kevin walked out, this white man right here mumbled "cracker" under his breath. <laughs> I know Kevin a long time and he's like a cool guy, but like you forget that he's that white sometimes until he meets people and then somebody like the white gene kicks in all of a sudden. I'll go and hang out like, yeah, Russ, I was having a good time. And then I'll white, somebody else will go, ah, oh, Kevin. <laughs> His fucking head does goofy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
good. Want me to pose? It's <laughs> Drake. Black lady, how are you? Good to see you. Even with your face covered up, I knew. You know? <laughs> What's your name? Sabrina. Sabrina. And that's your boyfriend, Sabrina? Uh -huh. Your husband, even better than a boyfriend. <laughs> Harder to break up with. Uh, and what's your name, husband? Brent. Brent? You're gonna have to put bass in your voice, Brent. <laughs> Did you know how Brent got fucking defensive just saying his name? Brent. I'll bring Kevin out here to introduce himself to you. He'll bring you back down to white standards. Yeah, Kevin. All right, we're wrapped up here at the Helium Comedy Club in Portland, Oregon. This was a fantastic week. We're showing the backstage area right here. Yo, yo. We're all wrapped up in Portland. This is my baby. I'm showing everybody real quick. Hi, baby. Ready? Say hi to everybody. Yeah, Chris. And, uh, uh, Drake, I'd like to just say you did a fine job. Nobody bombs better when they're hosting. Than you. <laughs> Been busting my ass all week. We appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like it, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one, baby. Let's go!